Hi everyone, welcome to Quick Tips. I'm sure many of you know what to do when your media is offline in Final Cut Pro and how you can relink it, but what do you do when your motion templates are offline? There doesn't appear to be an option to relink it in the file menu like there is with media. In this video, I'm going to show you a workaround to find out where Final Cut Pro is looking for these motion files so that we can put them where it expects to find them. And then after that, I'll also show you how you can relink to those files directly by telling Final Cut Pro where to look for them. So the first step is to export an XML of your project. Let's go to File and Export XML. Now let's have a look at that file. If I were to double click on it right now, it would open this up in Final Cut Pro and import the project exactly as it was when I exported the XML. Instead of opening up Final Cut Pro though, I'm going to open it up in Text Edit. Now, I know it looks intimidating, but don't be scared. You just need to know the name of the title or the generator that you're trying to relink. And you can tell that by looking at the timeline or the inspector in Final Cut Pro. So in my case, I can see that the name of the title I'm trying to relink is called Shortcut No Modifier. I'm going to press Command F to search the XML and I'll just start typing shortcut. Okay, here it is. Now let's look through the block of text in this first result for src equals. Next to that is where the file path is. You want to select that file path, but be very careful to leave out file colon and the first two slashes. So just start from the third slash, go through the whole file path, and then stop before that quote at the end. So your file path should look something like this. Let's copy that file path using command C. Now you'll notice that it'll have some funny percentage symbols and numbers like percentage 20 and that kind of thing. This is because it is URL encoded and we're going to need to decode that in order to work with it. The easiest way to do that is to use a free online URL decoding tool and you can find those easily enough on Google. This is one that I like to use. I'm going to paste it in this box and then click the decode button and I copy the result. And I'm going to throw this file path straight into Finder to see if we can find where this title file is supposed to be. To do that, let's go to Finder, click Go, Go to Folder or Shift Command G. Paste the link and click Go. Now, it won't be able to take you to that file path because it doesn't exist, which is why Final Cut Pro can't find it, but it will take you as close as it can get to it. By looking at the file path, ignore the dot localized part of it, we can see where it thinks the file should be. And I can see that folder here outside the Quick Tips folder, so I can just drag that in there. Now hopefully that should match up where the XML is expecting to find the file, but we can test that by using the go to folder trick again. Let's go shift command G and click go. Okay, it found it. So it should theoretically be in the right place. Let's go to Final Cut Pro. It is still showing us offline, but we can refresh that by closing Final Cut Pro and reopening it again. And here it is, very nice. So this will work fine if you're happy to move your files around to match where Final Cut Pro thinks that they should be. But what if you want to keep your title and generator files where they are and just relink them in Final Cut Pro? So I'm just going to close Final Cut Pro and move back this folder so we can get back to where we started. And we're back to having an offline title. So now instead of moving that folder, I'm going to go where it is now. Right click on it. Go to copy, but before I click, hold the option key and click copy as path name. Now let's go back to our XML file. With the file path selected in the same way we did earlier, just paste over the actual file path where it is. Now I know what you're thinking. Do we need to URL encode this? Well, no. Turns out that we don't. Anyway, let's save that file. And let's go to the file in Finder. If I double click on that, it'll open it up in Final Cut Pro, prompt you to select your library. And then do you want to replace? I will replace this project in order to avoid confusion. 
Now we can see the title is online again. We have imported a version of the project that knows exactly where the files actually are. Using this method, we can, in effect, relink our titles and motion generators and transitions, all our motion templates, just like we can with media. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more quick tips for Final Cut Pro, and I'll see you next time.